Hello guys and welcome to a new crypto video of the most beautiful music instrument there is the crypto violin guys it's bedtime i know and i want to sleep but i'm too bullish to go to sleep so i decided to make a beautiful video i hope you have an amazing day and i have some amazing content for you and this content will show you why xrp will go to a hundred dollars and more because this is how bullish i am and i wanted to show you what i feel and what I experienced. If you like the content I'm providing, please subscribe, like if you have questions, comment down below. And without further ado, let's dive into the juicy bullish content I have for you today. So first of all, I wanted to share this video with you of an interview from Brett Garlinghouse, where he's explaining the end goal of XRP, what he wants for XRP, what Ripple wants to achieve with XRP. We listen, guys. And in effect, what Ripple's doing is Let's make XRP the most efficient, the most liquid, and the easiest to bridge by selling effectively the connectors on both ends, selling APIs to allow people to connect to both ends of that. Uh, you know, if we have hundreds of banks interconnected to use XRP for that, I think that bodes well for the liquidity of XRP. It's basically who has the most liquidity is going to win this game. I mean, the, the, that's what I believe. I think different people believe different things, but that's okay. You have all these financial institutions who are now using XRP. It sounds like more people are using it, and yet the price has declined this year recently. Why do you think that is? I think if I could predict the price of crypto, I would uh, be, not, not be here. I, I mean, <laughs> the, the crypto markets are hard to predict for sure. And yet, uh, in many cases, even now, the altcoin basket is very correlated. Uh, and so when I say altcoin, I mean you know, everything but Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin out, has outperformed the rest of the crypto industry this year. You know, what that looks like in the future, hard to predict. I think over the long term, meaning two, three, four, five years, you know, the, the, that correlation, I think, will start to reflect those that have a real use case. You know, I'm very enthusiastic about not just what Ripple is doing, but the community of companies working around the XRP ledger. Uh, you know, Coil is a very interesting company doing something around micropayments using XRP where you really can't use something like Bitcoin for the purpose of micropayments in terms of the cost per transaction or speed of the transaction. It's much more uh, appropriate for, uh, for XRP. I want to show you another part of this beautiful interview. Blockchain, you can go back and see kind of transactions 0, 1, 2, 3. You can see when Ripple was incorporated in the Secretary of State in California. Uh, it, Ripple didn't create the XRP ledger. The XRP ledger had utility prior to Ripple's existence. Uh, you know, certainly we are an interested party in the success of the XRP ledger, for sure. We own a lot of XRP. Uh, but it's a little bit like saying, you know, Exxon owns a lot of oil. That doesn't make oil a security. Hmm. Exxon's clearly interested in how to, you know, we can argue about the health of the, you know, I'm not here to debate carbon emissions. <laughs> climate crisis, <laughs> you want to get into that? <laughs> no, this is the example I wanted to choose here, but <laughs> suffice it to say, Exxon cares a lot because they have a lot of exposure to a, in this case, commodity called oil. Is Exxon doing things that are trying to drive a healthy ecosystem around oil? Yeah. So Ripple will do everything to create a healthy ecosystem around XRP. Ripple is a highly incentivized party of the price rise of XRP. Because if the price of XRP goes to $100, then Brad Garlinghouse, then the whole Ripple team, then the whole Ripple company will be very rich and very wealthy and they have a lot of money to further develop the ecosystem. That's the biggest incentive that they have. Imagine Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk owning lots of stocks and we're getting angry of them. You don't want the price of this stock to rise. No, you don't want it. You just sell the stock. Guys, if the stock rises, they're the first to benefit, guys. That's the biggest incentive, guys. I would work a million times harder if I knew that my pockets would grow the biggest. Let's read another article from CryptoSkillset.com. Can XRP reach $100? How high can it go? Ripple has one of the most active communities in the crypto space and it's also one of the most highly promoted in social media. But can its currency XRP reach $100? And if so, how high can it go? The short answer is yes, XRP can reach $100 and it can go as high as $480. But wait, there's a catch. It's not what you think. 
In a scenario where the XRP market goes higher than a trillion dollars, it's likely that the dollar will be over devaluated, which means that $100 and $450 may not be worth as much as you think. If we were to predict the coin's price in USD, we also need to estimate the future value. Otherwise, there's no point. Will XRP reach $100? To know if XRP can realistically reach $100, we need to consider both the current circulating supply and the total supply, because one day it will eventually reach $99 billion. If XRP reaches $100, current supply would be worth $4.4 trillion. Max supply will eventually be worth $9.9 trillion. Now that's an awful lot of money. In the peak of 2017 bull run, the entire crypto market didn't even reach $1 trillion. So for many analysts, the notion of XRP reaching a trillion dollars is utter nonsense. But consider this, who is to say the USD, so called world reserve currency is not going to be devaluated? Most economics agree that the US is due for a recession. In fact, most of them believe it's going to happen sometime in 2020. Guys, it is happening already. I don't know if it's gonna turn out that way soon. But it is bound to happen eventually. That's always been the pattern for several decades. But how will it affect the price of cryptocurrencies? That's the big question. We will never know until we get there. But considering everything, yes, XRP can reach $100 per coin. Let's read further. The highest price of XRP should be near $480. But don't think it's gonna be the same value as $480 today. Remember, there will be hyperinflation. In this scenario, I projected an inflation of 300% compared to today's. Therefore, the projected value of $480 will be the same as $120 today. Okay, guys. And this article is from buybitcoinworldwide.com. US dollar devaluating since 1913. To devalue a currency like the dollar means that the value of the currency decreases. In the case of the dollar, we call this dollar devaluation. The value of a currency is also referred as purchasing power. The more a currency is devaluated, the less you can buy with this because its purchasing power decreases. How much has the dollar devaluated since 1913? The gap below shows the purchasing power of the US dollar since 1913. 1913 is when the Federal Reserve, which is actually a privately owned central bank, took over the US banking system. Can you imagine guys, a privately owned central bank took over the US banking system. We are all puppets guys, wake up. As you can see, it's been pretty much downhill since the Fed took over. In fact, the dollar has lost over 96% of its value. That means today, the dollar would be worth less than 4 cents back in 1913. How much longer will the dollar maintain its reserve currency status at this rate? Wow. Protect your wealth. Dollars have lost 90% of their purchasing power since 1950, as politicians print more of them. How does the Federal Reserve devalue the dollar? By printing more money. Printing more money causes monetary inflation. That means there are more dollars in circulation. But just because there is more paper money floating around, that doesn't mean value has been created. All you really get is price inflation. Here's an extreme example. Let's say the Federal Reserve just gave everybody in America $1 million. Wouldn't that be great if everyone in America became a millionaire overnight? Unfortunately, nothing would change, except prices would increase. Think about it. How much you would have to pay the plumber to come to your house if he's already a millionaire? Okay. So, XRP will reach $100 simply because the dollar will devaluate extremely, guys. And we all know that the Federal Reserve is printing money to infinity. Actually, toilet paper is actually scarcer than the dollar than the dollar itself because they are creating it digitally just out of thin air just they're typing some random numbers out of the computer and okay last but not least the daily hodo article world economic forum names xrp as a crypto asset most relevant to central bank digital currency space posted at september 27th the world economic forum is looking at ripple's native currency xrp as the most relevant cryptocurrency in the emerging central bank digital currency cbdc space in a report published earlier this year, the World Economic Forum says that central banks and government agencies are looking at the potential of CBDCs to solve parenting global financial issues such as financial inclusion and the sustainability of payment systems. 
The Geneva-based international organization also made clear the distinction between CBDCs and cryptocurrencies. CBDC is a digitalized version of sovereign currencies, created and issued by and a liability of the currency's monetary authority. CBDCs differ from other forms of digital or virtual currencies, including cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and stablecoins, which are not issued by central bank or typically considered legal tender. Although the World Economic Forum is drawing a clear line between the two forms of digital assets, it names XRP as the most relevant cryptocurrency in the wholesale CBDC space for intra or interim bank payments and settlements. In a recent blog post, Ripple notes that the central banks around the world are locked in an arm race to develop their own CBDCs. The payment startup also explains how central banks can leverage XRP to facilitate and support the use of CBDCs. Okay, guys. This tells you enough. I think this tells you enough, okay? So the World Economic Forum says there is a clear line between CBDCs and other cryptocurrencies. We don't want to do anything with cryptocurrencies and stable coins, except for XRP, guys. Except for XRP. You heard it good, guys. Except for XRP. Guys, I hope you like this video. Before we end the video, I want to share with you what my beautiful engineering robot advisor is telling us and advising us because it's a robot advisor and it's trading without emotion. And on the daily on the XRP USD chart, it gave a buy one signal that's very bullish, guys. And if we go to the 12 hours, it gave a buy one and a buy two signal, which is even more bullish. And if we go to the eight hours, we see here even that the moon signal has occurred, which is also amazing, guys. What I expect that this downtrend will be broken and then we go to a big uptrend and we'll see at least prices go to 35 cents and after that to go to 50 cents and we'll gain 43% and approximately 100%. That's double your money, guys. I would consider buying. That's not financial advice, but I will take it anyway. If you want to use this trading advisor, in the description below, I have a link. It's a seven day free trial and you open the indicators by pressing in indicators here, searching for crypto engineering, and then actually adding this on your indicators. And you can only do it if you apply for a seven day free trial and put it in your cart and then see some gains and make some profit, guys. I hope you stay profitable, happy, and bullish, and juicy. And see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.